Hey, this is Simeon from Praisetracks.com, and you know, I've been having a lot of fun playing the latest release from piano book artist Tape Rooms by Peter Flint. And someone had asked in the Discord server how to add your own samples. And so that's what I'm going to show you today. Just a quick tip on how to uh, put a little bit of yourself into uh, Tape Rooms. So let's get right to it. Okay, so I've got this pulled up in contact, of course. What we want to do, we want to focus in on this area right here. That's the waveform view. And so you can take any waveform, drop it into that area, and make that a part of tape rooms. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to record just myself doing an ah. So I'm going to take it uh, at the note B because, uh, <laughs> of course, Piano Book is uh, holding a fun event called the World's Biggest Brahm. And so we're going to uh, sample my voice and then we're gonna do some things with it and drop it into uh, tape rooms. So here we go. Let's see what happens here. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's good. That's fun. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit. See, the piano book, is. this is what what I love about Piano Book is that it's a catalyst. It, it just encourages you to create. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, and there, and we're gonna trim this, um, trim this off at the end. Let me make sure it, uh, okay, good. It ends, kind of cool. So I'm gonna create another audio track, and then I'm gonna add Waves Harmonizer. So Waves Har Harmonizer will take that single note and make like a choir out of it. So let's play that back. Let's see. Uh, so it's kind of doing some weird things with that. Let's just go ahead and normalize this um, this waveform just to get a little bit more oomph out of it. Let's just normalize it to about minus six. Yeah, that's that's good. That's nice and fat. Now when we play it back. Uh, and you can see here, here's a MIDI track. Now the MIDI track is what's controlling Waves Harmony, so I'm just playing these, um, these Bs and octaves just so it will create these additional voices. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, Eventide's Black Hole. And most of the time I just leave it on the, um, on the preset, uh, the initial preset. Let's just take a listen. Oh. That's crazy. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bounce this out to a new track. Let's bounce it out to a new track. That's one. Okay, now we have our new track down here. That's what I love about Cakewalk. It, it's got such a cool, fast bounce uh, to it. I'm just gonna take this waveform I'm going to drag it off onto the desktop, so that way we'll have something. Yeah, it's just right here. I just take the waveform, I just drag and drop it on the desktop, and so it makes a copy of it there. I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to bring it back in and listen to what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So let's, and you've got that tremendous black hole, of, black hole effect, and so now, we're going to take this and drop it into tape rooms. So I'm going to just take this and we've got we've got a preset loaded, but that's OK. So now I'm going to just drag and drop this right onto the waveform. And you see, boom, there it is. So right now you can see that that's my waveform that I just dropped in. And now let's uh, let's just play it with the presets that are already loaded in here. So we've got the length adjusted and the start time. But we forgot to do one important thing, set the root note. So since our root note is kind of like right here on, on B2, let's go ahead and, and click set root and hit B2. Now, there you go. We can adjust the length of that. And the start point. Wild. 
and see I had the sink on, so the sink is going to um, sync the length of the grains to your tempo. Uh, but uh, let's turn the sink off and that way we can get the full, um, the full wave file, I mean the full thing. And you notice too, if you look closely, I'll um, move the mod wheel up and down, that adjusts the start time. And I've got, uh, I've got a little wonky mod wheel. Okay, it was actually reading from my mix face fader. So now it's going to start at the beginning now. Now random start, let's just turn off the random. So, and the grain shape hold, I'll take it all the way over and that's gonna hold the full length of this. And once you have a waveform in there, you can do just about anything. That's my voice in there. So you can adjust the envelopes. And one of the things that you gotta remember, what happens is when you have all of these voices, and I'm gonna stretch this out so you can see, when when you have the length, you 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 shorten the length and you watch that's a very short length. And every time it generates another grain. That's basically another voice. I was holding a note down and, and just watching that voice uh, voice count climb, and I realized that is the number of grains. We can move that start time in the middle, and then the random control will generate just like a random percentage on the length, and then the random start you can see that that start point is just kind of moving just a little bit. So it opens up an entirely new world, um, which is amazing, especially when you can drop your own samples in like that, and it's just so easy to do. Let's take a look at how we can save that. So we just need to open the, um, the full file browser here and we can go to the disk icon and we're going to save as an instrument give it our name let's see if we can put our new folder here and name this um, user and then simeon b r a h h m m m <laughs> And we want to save the patch and samples together. Yeah, there it is right there. So you can see that it's in the... Um, <laughs> so you can see that it's in the, in the uh, instrument folder now. So now I can just um, go to another patch. And then go right back to my Brom here. Let's set the root note again. That's crazy. So I hope, uh, hope you had fun with this uh, because it just opens up so many possibilities. And I want to thank Piano Brook for once again just giving us brand new ways to. Uh, explore, create, experiment, and tell stories. So until next time, this is Simeon, and uh, remember to always stay joyful.